Now that we got the motor on the stand, oh my god, that was so hard. Six and a half hours late six and a half hours later, and I was filthy as can be. Motors on the stand, cars looking pretty in the background, and so today is teardown day. We're gonna take all these dirty bits, just all this manifold, all of it, and we're gonna tear it down and we're gonna see what we got inside this engine. I'm uh kind of worried to see what I'm gonna find. I think there's gonna be some more problems inside the engine than I'm led on to believe. Good indicator that this engine was abused a little bit is check out the nut for the crank pulley. That thing has been like chopped and I don't even know what's going on here. Um, definitely a sign that someone has been doing some work on this car, but the engine ran really well when it came out of the FX16, so we'll see how it does. off on basically pulling the cams out of the head the cam guides out of the head uh, but we couldn't get the head off because we didn't have the right 12 point head stud removal socket and now we do and I'm gonna leave this up to Emily she's gonna take it off a closer look at the head you can see it's pretty bad I mean this isn't this isn't temporary. This is this has been there for a while. Lots of gunk. I mean, I mean that's the beauty of a head, right? You can take it to a machine shop and they'll clean it up. But you got some gunk in here. Hi Kodak. Yeah, the head sucks. Um, you got some gunk in here. You can see the head gasket just really wasn't doing its job up in here. Um, some gunk here. Good thing there's no RTV on this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, looks pretty bad. And look at one of the shims and buckets came off. I know some of you are going to be like, well, you should have marked which one shims and buckets go to which valve. At this point, it looks like it's going to have to be a full head rebuild, so I'm not worried about which shim or bucket goes to which. I was concerned about that. <laughs> I think what we can do, though, is we can take it off and we can measure the shim on the top here and then we'll index them all. And then we'll buy a bunch of extra shims. That way, when we put the cams on, they're spaced perfectly. But I mean, look at that. Ugh. Thank you. 